Hello all. Uh, welcome to Closure Diary. So today we are going to create a very simple uh, HTTP server with Closure and uh, see how it works. Okay, so for that, like I created a new project. So I I put the command what I used to create the project uh, in notes for this video. So don't worry about that. So uh, in that project, I added these dependencies. So, of course, uh, whenever you create a project with Lin Engine, uh, this dependency is already been added. Like, uh, I'm using Clojure 111. And over here, like, what I've done is, like, I've uh, included a thing called Pedestal. So, it is a very, I don't know, like, uh, even though there are a lot of Clojure libraries to create web pages, I'm just captivated by Pedestal. I don't know why. Okay, so, so, so Pedestal service, I've been, uh, uh, what to say, uh, uh imported and another one is pedestal roots you'll see what they are like maybe you'll understand right and this jetty is kind of a server like uh, a very popular web server for closure applications so that's the thing and this one i forgot what this means so like i really have no idea so but it i just imported it because like i found it in my previous project so it is there so that's the thing right so that's the thing and um, so this is the project uh, files so that's the thing and uh, this is where i just create the server and i just serve all i just serve is like okay like hello world that's it uh, html that contains body and that says hello world right that's the thing so let's start the ripple and see whether it works okay so okay so i'll just jack in right so Lenin engine and i just give enter i don't know what all those stuff means okay so okay looks like the ripple has been started right so now i just need to load all these functions into this ripple so i'm just lazy so i'll just give like okay um okay load evaluate current file right okay so that i'll just give so everything i think will get loaded right so and uh because the last function is restart and so the restart uh, what to say is being shown over here so don't worry about that right so now what we will do is like okay like there is a thing called start there right so look if you don't understand it, yeah i'll just explain in this video what goes on so but i don't think you will understand entirely because like you're just looking at pedestal all of a sudden like no you won't understand it so Maybe like yeah, this this will just be another jigsaw for you to understand closure web development, right? So a piece in a jigsaw, right? So I've just done it. So look, uh, don't get intimidated by uh, all these stuff that's been put by the start dev, right? So I think it's all the jetty stuff or something like that. So or pedestal HTTP stuff. I, I don't know. I even I don't know exactly, right? And the port number is eight eight nine zero, right? So that's the thing, right? So so let's go to uh, 8890 and then I have defined a root called Greek. Okay, so I just get hello world, right? So uh, this is a very, very basic, uh, what to say, a web server serving very, very basic HTML. So, right. So now let's see how things work. Okay, so that's the thing, right? So, um, so uh, you have got this thing start dev this is what you started right okay so so what this does is like this resets a variable called server actually this in closure we used to say everything is uh, immutable but the server is kind of mutable right there is a thing called atom right so this is how you define it okay let me make it bigger right so there is a thing called atom so atoms are things like where you can store states okay uh, is it good i don't know like because like uh, the entire point of functional programming is not to have states but uh, we do have it in cases where it's almost kind of unavoidable right so so we have a thing called atom this is a thing that stores the state of the server right okay so that's the thing and the atom name is server and uh, we define it as atom and the value is null right okay so when we start dev okay so we just reset the atom right so we just reset and we just put i'm not sure what all this uh, http start and all those stuff means okay so we are just creating this uh server okay and uh, what to say and uh, 
we have a thing called service map okay so like uh so that's the thing and this is where the service map is okay so this is where the port number has been defined 8890 so you are going to 8890 over here right and okay uh roots we are defining it in a variable called roots look over here roots are there so over here slash greet it's mapped to a function called respond hello it is respond hyphen hello and there is a root name called greet so don't worry about this root name right now even i don't know what it is okay so i'm just starting out with pedestal okay so that's the thing right and okay so this maps to a thing called greet okay so that's the thing and uh, uh yeah uh, that's pretty much it like okay like uh okay so the roots and this is what the service map it service map it, service map is okay and i don't know what this http join so i think like okay like uh this just allows it to run and uh, uh gets disjoint from the terminal wherever it's been started okay so here like i've just started look after that uh it is not just blocking it's just disjoint from the terminal and over here i can do whatever i want like uh like whatever i want and uh so that's the thing so that like uh, i can query some function what they are doing or something like that and all those stuff right so um so so that's the thing for example i can even uh see what uh respond hello does okay so here i just give some empty uh, stuff okay so so this is the thing it just is response okay so oh here i can do so if i maybe put as true i think that won't be possible but i i don't know i really don't know so that's the thing uh so 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 yeah that's the thing so we have got the server started and all those things and this in this route we have got the slash grid. so uh i just put this local host because it's running in my own computer that's why i just put local host and 8890 is the port number right and slash greet okay so if i make it bigger will the address no the address bar is not becoming bigger okay fine anyway so slash greet so uh if i put the slash greet uh this knows okay like slash greet should be responded by this thing called respond hello okay so there is a request variable but i'm not using the request variable okay that's okay right so this just gives status 200 which means okay in uh this http responses okay so maybe you need to know http responses and all those stuff you also need to know about html and all those stuff to understand right so that's the thing and <clears throat> the type we are saying is it's text html <clears throat> and this is a thing we are saying that needs to be put into the browser so if i put like okay like uh, control view okay so this is the thing that's been rendered in the browser Okay, so that's the thing right and you might be thinking where all this status headers and all goes okay of course the browser reads this but this won't be shown to us so that's the thing right maybe um there is a thing called inspect and uh, <coughs> and if you put this and uh, if you refresh it okay so i don't know like uh over here so response okay if you look like okay status 200 and uh, uh where is the content type okay the content type is text html and all those things and uh, that's the thing so i hope you can see this like if i make it bigger yeah you can see this okay so the status is 200 okay the content type is text html actually the browser does read it okay so and that's how it knows like okay this is html so I need to render it as HTML. So that's how it is. So this is a very, very simple server. Okay. So, so, uh, okay. So, so yeah, like, uh, I just did it so that like, okay, I just know it and I can see this video for myself. Okay. So that's the thing. And now what I can just do is do is like, okay, I can just put the stop them so that to stop, uh, anything like, uh, look i'm done with my work right so i've just put the stop dev right so i've just stopped it now if i just go and try it that's it like the server got stopped okay it's better to start uh, okay stop before you finish your project and that's the thing so that like uh, or when when you finish your work so that like this port gets freed and all those stuff right so that's the thing and now let me just uh 
uh, stop the ripples, right? Okay, so so yeah, I've just killed the ripple and all those things. So everything is okay. So that's the thing. So this is a very very simple uh, what to say HTTP server using pedestal in closure. And in future videos, I'll be doing something more. Okay, so actually, I just want to build a productivity tool or something like that, so that like a second brain or something like that with closure so that like uh, I can be more productive but I'm not sure so yeah uh, let's see if pedestal serves the purpose and I'll also be using a thing called HTML okay so uh, I think my internet is gone so uh, okay my internet is gone okay maybe in next uh, what to say uh, in video I'll be telling what is HTMX and how I plan to use it with pedestal and all those stuff. Maybe I'll start doing my project. Okay, so that's the thing. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, let's see in another video.